Morning Morning Janet Morning Frank Hello 大姐 How's everyone today? Are you all feeling achy in your thighs, your back, your hips from yesterday's exercises? Hi Larry Didn't see you yesterday Larry, were you were you with us? <laughs> wow, all well, ah, Rina, very good. Getting fitter, ah. moving better. Okay, so I've actually um, asked a few of uh, yeah, a few of you like how um, how yesterday class was. Um, because upon reflecting, I think I we well, I probably yeah show some of the variations that were a little bit too hard for you guys to to do. Probably hi Michelle. Probably should have eased it back a little bit um, and work on the regression. But there are also some of you that said that you enjoy the challenges. So so my goal is to find a happy medium whereby I'm engaging everyone. Um, I want so I want to make this session. Uh, by engaging and something that you can discover that you can do some things that you thought you can't. Oh, okay. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be so difficult that you find you are most of the time you are struggling to balance yourself and you don't benefit from the exercises. <laughs> okay. So so that's what. That's what, that's what I'm trying to do. Hi Michelle. Hi Ju. Okay, so um so today we are going to focus on certain things, uh some rolling, some getting up off the floor, push-ups, uh, moving the shoulders, uh, some jumps um uh, in the combination, and then we'll work through them. Okay, so it will be helpful for um some of us to have some cushions nearby because we're gonna be in a sit-up position, right? So I'm going to tilt this camera a little bit. Okay, so, so as I was saying earlier, it will be uh, useful to have like a, a pillow or something uh, that you can sit on because we are today's movement. We are going to start with you sitting here like this. Okay? We do quite a fair bit of hinging movements. So what we need is when you want to find a cushion or even books, right? Will do. Okay, that you when you sit on it, you are looking for that long spine. So meaning I don't want my pelvis to tuck like this. I want to be able to find something that um, a height that when I sit on it I'm able to stack my pelvis over my ribs okay and my head over over it like this so it looks it looks like this so it's like a nice straight line right like if you were to take a stick now and you put it behind my head it will be a nice straight line okay so we're gonna start from this position now so from here so first get into this position and what I want you to do is um, we're going to focus on breathing. So, so basically what you want to be able to breathe into your uh, abdominals, your obliques and your back, right? So if your thumbs like this, I'm going to show you from behind. Okay. So your hands like this, you're going to press it into the side here like this. Okay, so gently press it in. Now, as I'm here in this position, I'm going to try to 
breathe in through my nose and see I can push if I can push out right my fingers so here so as I breathe in I want to feel that I can push my thumbs and my fingers out right so imagine my uh, my trunk like a balloon and as I breathe out I'm going to be able to push my thumb in and compress the trunk right Keep breathing. So we're gonna do this for about a minute. So what are we what are we trying to do? We are trying to uh, restore or uh, your core stability, right here. So even to be able to sit in this position and being able to breathe into the back, the whole trunk, okay, is important for uh, stability of your of your core. And so you'll find that that help actually helps you to be able to straighten out your legs a bit more. But let's keep going and with the breathing. Just stay sitting here. Okay, so now in this position, what you want to do, right? Is to see if you bring your knees back up into this position and see if it's now a little bit easier for you to straighten out your knees while still maintaining this position as compared to when you first got into this position. Like how much more are you able to straighten out the knees? So this is your benchmark, right? So we didn't really stretch out your legs per se. What we did was we focused on trying to increase stiffness around your pelvis, uh, around your trunk and that in turn helps you to kind of loosen up the um, um, loosen up the legs, right? To allow you to straighten this. Okay, we're gonna come back to this in a while. So next we're gonna do is this. You're gonna remove this. We are going to do a uh, roll up. Okay, so from this angle, I'm going to put my chin in. Oh, sorry, so I'm gonna do is like a rocking chair, right? In original strength, we call it like a Rocking chair, I think. So we're going to do this too. You are going to look behind you, and you see what it does to my spine, right? It extends my spine. I'm going to roll back. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Look up, and roll back up. Got it? So, look behind. Okay. So look behind you. Extend the spine. And rock back up. Okay, got it? So I'm going to try that for a minute. Make sure that you have ample space behind you because sometimes you may be moving back, right? You don't want to knock your head. Okay, ready? For a minute, ready? And go. So make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure there's no sound when you're coming up. Ten more seconds. Hi, Charmaine. So don't rush, right? Feel what your body is doing. 
be aware and rest okay from here you get to lie down for a moment so what I'm going to ask you to do is this you're going to straighten your legs your hands by the side we've done this before so what I need to do is to reach your left hand up right and reach your right leg up keeping it straight if you can and try and touch don't hold your breath don't swing right so you don't want this okay you want to reach okay if you can't reach it's fine so now if your head right so i forgot to make this so if your head is like this go ahead and take a pillow or whatever right to prop it up so that it's better supported Okay, got it? So Ayo, can't do what Roxy. Okay, you're gonna do this for one minute, right? Okay, ready? Touch the toes. Just leave it out, like, even if you okay. Now even if it's just like this, it's fine. Okay? Don't worry. So if you can't touch it like this, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to bend, okay. I'm going to give you an alternative for those of you that can't do it like this, right? Or you find it very difficult. Bend your knees. Okay? See that? You are going to straighten and touch. Okay? So you have a choice of doing it this way. Or this way. Okay? Whichever way works for you. We can try that for a minute, right? Okay, ready? And we go. Is that better, Roslyn? You can even hold here, take a breath. Okay, don't worry if you can't touch, right? And rest. How was that for everyone? Okay? Okay, so, moving on. You are going to now uh, lie on your tummy like this. I'm sure from this angle. So from here, we're going to focus on moving your shoulder blade, right? To rotate up and down. Your shoulder blade should be able to rotate up and down. Um, I'm not wearing a singlet, so you can't see the shoulder blade movement. But basically, what you want to feel. Okay? Imagine the shoulder blade here. Is that? As I lift my hand up, my shoulder blade, right? If you imagine here, it's rotating up this way. As I bring it down, it's rotating down. So what we're going to do is this. In a prone position, my hands are going to be here like this. Okay? I'm going to bring it down behind me, feel my shoulder blade moving. Turn my palms in. Bring my hands behind. Reverse the action. And up okay so it looks like this so don't rush right I want you to feel your shoulder blade moving so just here okay. feel the shoulder blade move turn in okay so when you're here there's a tendency for us to strike right I want you to reach 
I'm going to show you from here. So don't be here like this. I want to see your neck. So reach. See that? You can see my neck here, right? Behind. Okay. You can rest a while. Lift it up. Yeah. Reach down. See how my shoulder blade moves down. You can see my neck. And here. Okay. Go slow. Feel your shoulder blade moving. The same thing. I'm going to try for one minute, okay? You ready? And we go. Start from a wide position. Feel the shoulder blade moving down. Thumbs down, reach behind. Feel your armpit muscles engage. Yeah. You can rest a while if you need. Otherwise, you can carry on. Don't rush, right? This is actually quite hard for a lot of people. We're not used to moving our shoulder blade in this position. But they're good for you. And rest. Okay, so next, we are going to do a push up since we're already in this position. Okay. So, what I do is this. You are going to be here this way. So I need you to come out like this. See that? Extend, tuck in your chin. Hands down. Tuck in the elbows, right? Pull the shoulder bit back. And you can choose to push up this way. It's fine if this is uh, how much strength you have. And come back down. Or you can choose to push up from the knees in one piece. You're holding, you're still doing a plank. Or you can choose to come up off the knees, right? Or off the feet. This way. Okay, so here. Okay, let's try this for, okay, let's take it slow, let's try one minute, but after 30 seconds, if you can't do any more, it's fine. Okay, you ready? And go. Whichever way works for you, right? So you can be here. Last 15 seconds, I think, yes. And rest. So far so good. Okay. So. Next, we're going to get you to stand up first. I'm going to show you one last move. And then I'm going to put them into a little circuit, right? Okay, so you are going to stand up, right? So 
So we're gonna do a hinge. So for those of you that join the kettlebell class, remember like how you do, you swing your kettlebell around, you do a deadlift. So we're gonna do a hinge here. So you don't have to, um, okay, I'm gonna show you a few ways. You can put your hands behind this way, interlock the fingers, pull the shoulder back and down. Okay? You think about pulling it down towards your heels, right? Push your hips back. So notice that my spine is extended, I'm not rounded this way. Okay? Now, when you come up, you want to tuck, right? Lock the knees, breathe out, tuck. You see how, how I'm engaging my abdominals and my buttocks? So you're gonna tuck this way. Then I'm going to pull it back down. Tuck at the top. Okay, remember? Um, so I usually tell my students, right? Do a Michael Jackson. Okay, so you basically engage your abdominals, squeeze the buttocks, level your back line like this. If I tell this to the younger generation, they will know who is that. But I think y'all should know lah. So Michael Jackson, you tuck, engage the abdominals and buttocks. It's like a plank. Untuck, push back. So that's one way of doing it. The other one is you're going to, because you don't have weight, right? You're going to increase your liver, uh, some loading by reaching your hands out. So it looks like this. I'm going to reach my hands out. I'm going to send my pelvis back, same way. The body looks the same, but the arm position changed. You'll notice that now by reaching my hands out this way, I'm getting more loading on my, on my core, on my hamstrings, because my hands are out. And I'm going to swing my hands back and tuck, same thing. See that? And breathe out. Got it? Okay, so I'll show you two variations. Now, the last one. For some of you, you find this is quite comfortable. Hey, did anybody say something? Hi, Jennifer. Okay. Now, the last one. You can also do a jump. So it looks like this. You take it from here. I'm going to show you here so I don't bang the rings. Like I'm here. I'm going to swing my hands back and jump up and I land back this way. Don't have to be very high. Hop up and back. Okay? So you land the same way you took off. Got it? Okay, ready? We're gonna try, same thing, just for one minute, right? Okay, ready people? Okay, ready? And go. Whichever way you want. I'm gonna show you all three, right? Michael Jackson at the top. Breathe out. How was that? Okay, so we are going to pick a few of these moves, put them into a circuit, and then we go for time. Okay, so do what you can with what you have. <laughs> okay. So 
it's going to look like this. You start with this. You're just going to do two of these. It can be this way or this way, right? Whichever way you find is the uh, is a bit more beneficial for you. So go one, one, two, two. Then two row ups. One, two. I can row over. Okay. One, two. I'm going to come up. Okay. One, two, one more, three. So the last one is the only one you do three. Okay. Then it's deliberate, right? When you go up and down off the floor. Okay. That's the whole sequence, so repeat again. Okay? Got it? So, we are going to try for five minutes. Okay? If you're tired, you can stop whenever you want. Okay? Everything is two, except for the hinge or the jump, whichever one you feel comfortable. Okay, ready? There we go. Hello. Bella wants to join us. You can do it this way as well, remember? We're going to tuck at the top. Michael Jackson. Coming down. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Look back in your little roll. Cutting your chin when you do the spine extension.
hanging down the back. <laughs> Almost thought the alarm stops. Okay. So how was that for everyone? Okay, so we're going to do a stretch now. What I want to do is to we're going to come back to this sitting on the uh, pillow, right? Or the cushions or whatever of the books. So what I do, you can get back to just on the position, right? Remember? So you don't want the back to round this way, the pelvis to tuck. You're gonna kind of roll over pelvis over the ribs. Kind of like if you put a stick or dowel, it's like one straight line. The fingers pressing the side of ribs. Okay, and just trying to again and breathe. So if you're panting right now, it's a good time to just try to slow down and see if you can breathe in and out through your nose. Slowly see you can straighten out the legs a bit more without losing this position, right? And I'm going to try to do an arm reach so from here. I'm going to try to open my palms and reach up. And take a deep breath in. And down and again. So reach. Two more times. forward so walk your hands forward and make sure that you're not rounding from the back so see how I'm kind of like popping my chest out and reach you're stretching your hips so once you find you cannot go any further you're gonna hold here take a breath Then I'm going to move my hands. Walk it right to the right side. And same thing holding there. And the other side. And 
take about two to three breaths. Okay, one last one. So from here, you move your hands behind. Fingers pointing out, right? I'm gonna just kind of think about squeezing my shoulder blade together, pushing the ground away. You're gonna be able to see a neck. And just kind of look up. Feel the stretch in front of my shoulders and my neck. That's it for today. So, yep. Let me know uh, what you think. Let me know if this is uh, challenging enough for you and you're benefiting from it. Okay? So, if not, yep. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. See you. Bye bye.